And while we're at it, Holly, why don't you tell the people who helped to kick your roommate out? Matt. It was the Bergs several months ago. I was talking with you on the phone all night. And you even said to me, Bergs, I need you on the phone because I can't do this alone. And I said, I got you. I'm three hours behind you. I'm a night owl. And I stayed on the phone with you for three hours. And I told you to grab those hefty bags and pack all his stuff. Pack all his S-H-I-T. And you were like, I don't know. And you know, uh, <laughs> you know, maybe I'll give it another day. No, you do it now. I was like a drill sergeant. I kept you in present time. You know, a task at hand. You have to do it right now. And you know that's true. But you don't give me any credit at all, huh? You give me none. Well, folks, listen to me. I'm not lying. If it wasn't for me, that guy, Matt, he would not have been kicked out that day. I told her to put all of his stuff in hefty bags, put it on the picnic table. And that's what she did. And he never stepped foot in there again. He picked all of his stuff up the next day. Yeah, he cried, he begged. Okay, and I'll give that to Holly. She, uh, you know, stood, you know, stood firm. Yeah. But the bottom line is this. I was the one who jump-started the whole thing. If not, he might have been there for another month. Who, who knows? He might have still been there. Put that on the board.